Today, or in this video, we're going to show you the cleaning up and restoration of the table base and then building a new table top for the outdoor kitchen. Probably easier to carry now. Walter just finished hitting the bottom of the table with the wire wheel, maybe a little grinder work. And the next step is he's just gonna blow it off, make sure there's no dust here, and then use rusty metal primer. When you're using an oil paint, you wanna use a natural hair brush. So he's gonna open this up, mix it up, and paint it. And this dries pretty quick, so hopefully in about an hour, he can flip it over and start washing the bottom. While Walter's working on the base, I'll get to work on the top. I'm going to rip these old boards down and send them through the planer. While Walter was working on the base, I got the boards ready to be joined. The center of the table is Sapili. These are the old boards from my mom's old table. The edges or the outside part of the table is Red Grandis. And Walter's going to use the domino to join the boards together. So just make sure that the domino is flat. This is basically the most important thing. You don't want to be like this or like this. Because this tabletop is going to live outside, we're joining the boards together with epoxy. And I like to use Total Boats Thixo because it's thickened and you don't get the epoxy running everywhere and making a mess. The important thing to remember is you're squeezing the epoxy through this mixing tip. So when you do that, at least put out maybe like three inches uh, just in case it's not completely mixed because this is a two part system and those those two parts need to be mixed for the epoxy to cure. I'll put a bead of epoxy on each board, getting some of the epoxy into the domino uh, cut there. And then one of the beads I'm going to spread out with a putty knife just to make sure that every surface is covered. Yeah, this is pretty bad actually. Definitely, um, we'll be hitting it with clamps, so hopefully those gaps will close. Is that from a knife on the ATV? We'll see. Okay, good, I got it. The lift up from the bottom at your end, I'm gonna slide a clamp in the center of the table. So you want to lift up like this? Yeah, and you got the whole table, so I'm gonna run and grab a, cl okay. a clamp. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Okay. You gotta be looking at the other end. Uh, Push it that way. Good. All right, cool. This will be the moment of truth if you went deep enough with the, uh, the dominoes. You can see that that's a little bit off, but that's the main thing. At least you went all the way in. That'll work. Little sanding will be able to take care of that. 
Okay, so we let the epoxy set up overnight. This is Walter, Walter's first time using the domino. And that's a bit of a screw up. So the domino is an alignment tool. All of your joints should be flush, right? But you got this right here. So that means you're going to have more sanding to do. No big deal, you're just learning. But to knock this material down, you're gonna use the belt sander and sand across the grain. And then once you get that pretty close, then you'll... Walter's got the tabletop sanded down to 80 grit, first going across the grain to flatten it out, and then with the grain to remove the scratches, and we've decided to put a slight bow at each end of the table. This pattern is from the chest of drawers project just a few weeks ago, and we're going to use the same pattern for the bow. And first we'll trace it and rough cut it with the jigsaw and then we'll use a flush cut bit in the router to get a perfect cut. This is a small trim router. It's much easier to use and feel comfortable with than the one that Walter was just using. Right now we've got a small round over bit and that's what we're using for the detail on the table top and the table bottom. We put the round over bit into the router, adjusted the height of the router bit, and it's always good to test it on a piece of scrap wood. So this looks good. I'll go ahead and make one run and then Walter will take over. Okay, so we just finished sanding the top and the bottom. This is the top, we're gonna to flip it over so we finish the bottom first, and then we'll flip it back over to finish the tops. All right, well, pretty happy with the way this turned out. We'll see how the finish holds up. It's wet right now because we've been getting a lot of rain, but uh, I think that this is one of those finishes that we'll reapply every couple of months. Hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.